Resolve 18.5 just came out and I'm going to give you 10 reasons why you should be using it for your social media content creation. While Resolve is a free program, not all the features that I'm going to be talking about today are going to be in the free version. Some of them are going to only be in the paid version. So let's just get into it. Before we start, if this is your first time here, well, my name is Robin and on my channel, I talk about tech and I talk about content creation and I talk about how they intertwine to make your life better. So if that sounds like something that interests you, then hit subscribe. This feature is brand new to Resolve 18.5 and is pretty nuts. It uses AI to generate a normal map to create a 3D interpretation of your scene, which you can then virtually relight. So that means you can either make the key light brighter, fill in some shadows, add some accent colors if you want to, literally relight your scene. Now the channel Color Grading Insight does a really great breakdown on how this works and how you can do it yourself. So I've linked that down below so you can watch it afterwards. Now this feature is also brand new to 18.5 and it's something that a lot of people have been asking for, including myself. Using AI, you can now generate a subtitle track based on your clip's audio. You can then customize it to look however you want before posting it to social media. Not only that, but you can now generate an entire transcript of your audio and then edit with it. This is huge if you are editing a breakdown of either an interview or a podcast for Reels or TikTok. Because now, instead of listening through the entire thing and making the cut downs based on that, you can just search the transcription or scroll to the point that you're looking for and then highlight the text that you want and import it into your timeline. It's so easy to create timelines for social media inside Resolve. Inside the cut page, click on the drop down menu and from there you can select a variety of different timeline resolutions. You can choose a standard horizontal timeline, a square timeline or a vertical timeline. And if none of those fit your needs, then you can just create a custom timeline. Now, this next feature is really going to help with your vertical content. This feature is perfect if you're trying to create short form content from longer videos and want to keep your subject in frame automatically without having to keyframe it manually. You can either let the effect auto reframe, getting a call from a stairs number. Consulate General in Canada, urgent important notice. Oh, okay. All right, got a... <laughs> scam call in the middle of the video. That's great. <laughs> you can either let the effect auto reframe your video for you, or you can use a reference point to choose the part that you want to stay inside the frame. This feature is absolutely nuts. Typically, if you want to mask out your subject and put something behind them like titles or images, it used to be quite a long and arduous process that often required other softwares and a technique called rotoscoping. But Resolve now does away with all of that. Inside the color panel, you just have to draw a line around your subject, track your footage back and forth, and you're done. It's that simple. You can then add text, add objects, or just affect the areas that you've masked out. It's so stupidly powerful and so stupidly simple and works excellently with this next feature. If you're familiar with Photoshop's content aware fill, this is pretty much that but for video. If you're not familiar, it just means that you can remove objects from the clip and the software will fill in the gap automatically. This works best with relatively still shots like talking heads or pieces to camera, but it will work as well with shots with a little bit of camera movement in them. All you have to do is mask out your object using the magic mask, head over to your effects and find object remover. Select analysis boundary, analyze the scene and then hit build clean plate and boom, it's done. 
This one is kind of like the beauty filters on TikTok, but with way more customization. You just need to analyze the scene and let Resolve detect the face. From there, you're presented with a ton of different customization options. You can smoothen the skin, brighten the eyes, remove bags, and even add color to your lips and cheeks. This one is pretty straightforward. You can use AI to increase the clarity and resolution of an image. This is actually super handy if you're working with vertical video, because unless you have shot the video vertically, you're typically working with a horizontal video and cropping in on it. And by doing that, you're losing resolution and quality. So with SuperScale, you can scale it up to four times and get a sharper, more clear image. If you're someone who vlogs or records their videos either outside or in a noisy room that you can't control the sound of, this feature is totally clutch. So you can go from a noisy environment like this and make it sound a little bit more like this. It analyzes your vocal track and removes all the noise in the background, leaving you with a nice clean sound. Then, if you have a vocal track that varies in volume, you can use the AI leveler to make the quiet parts loud and the loud parts quiet. These features work so seamlessly and they can both be found inside the Fairlight tab. The only downside is that they can be pretty heavy, so I'd recommend applying them at the end of your process just to save your computer some hassle. And this is the last feature I'm gonna talk about. And it's one that's kind of been around for a little while, but recently with 18.5 got updated. Beforehand, you were able to upload straight to YouTube, Twitter, and Vimeo, but with Resolve 18.5, they've now added the ability to upload straight to TikTok as well. You just need to link your account with Resolve and then hit upload directly to TikTok and you're done. You can either make it public or private and allow comments, stitches and duets right from within Resolve. It's evident from these updates that Resolve is really positioning itself as the editing system for content creators. And I don't think it's any coincidence that we're seeing a lot of the big content creators on YouTube and such flock over from programs like Premiere and Final Cut to Resolve. I've been editing with Resolve since 2018. So it's just been so great seeing it bloom and blossom and adding all these incredible features while still staying free and turning into the absolutely stacked app that it is today. If you like this video, then I'd recommend checking out my other one on Resolve where I show you how you can use AI to color grade your content. My name is Robin and I'll see you in the next one.